Hey guys, very good morning to all of you. Welcome back to the channel. I did upload a, quite a long video. Uh, the last video was a bit long, 25 minutes, I just noticed. Um, but the thing is, it was, uh, you know, just like nice little gathering for us in uh, the fragrance community. Those who are members of our, my group or our group rather, uh, we met up of, just for, you know, chit chat, talk perfumes, try stuff out. So it was nice to hear them talk, hear their opinions so i just thought i just share with you guys all right so hope you enjoy that so we plan to do one more meetup as the winter gets a little bit more colder like uh, a little bit uh cooler weather hits us that time maybe we'll do one more episode but we'll sit somewhere else like a restaurant or something okay so that's that so today at uh, this this episode i don't want to uh, talk about any huge uh, designer fragrance or niche fragrance i want to talk about a fragrance from house of lomani and this is my first fragrance from this house and i think this is a clone of a very popular fragrance which i don't own a bottle of but i did review and i do have a sample thanks to the brother who actually lent me both and he gifted me this small sample it's called royal loot from house of creed so you can see i have halfway down so this one i have for some time and i know this fragrance very well so this lomani version they tried to actually capture that smell of royal wood at a very inexpensive price tag all right so we'll see how far it goes how good is it what's bad in it i'll tell you everything uh from my honest opinion so this fragrance the it's called lomani intense black and uh, you must have seen this is not a new fragrance you have seen many reviewers talked about it but mostly steven from red lessons he said this is a very close alternative close uh, counterpart of royal wood but uh he said it's a uh, he said a few things like it it doesn't have that performance it doesn't have that blend that complexity of creed royal wood. so we'll see you know what do i think so this is the box uh, it's 100 mil side like this nice sort of holographic uh, presentation going on with the sticker here you know the band it's kind of nice with the black and it's kind of nice cool looks cool it says lomani big letters okay at the side some information edt concentration and back there is a nice touch sort of you can open it like lacoste boxes you can open like this and it says lomani here i think yeah lomani so nice touch here so these are made in france bottom is your batch code and sticker uh, nothing much at the side you get lomani okay so the bottle it's a uh, it's not very uh, expensive fragrance this cost i think 22 pounds or something like that you can score this less than 25 dollars i believe but uh, for the bottle what they give you i really like the bottle here's the bottle it looks very matte black finish here it's glass uh, from the front and back you can't really see through okay it's totally opaque uh, but if you put it against the light from this side you'll see the but you, you are not being able to see but if you put it against the light you can see from the side the juice level so uh, this is a nice sort of cool ceramic sort of feel bottle it has bottom like this a little bit concave uh, side and it says uh, Lomani this part is plastic I believe and the cap is not very uh, tight or secure rather you can hear you can hear the sound rattling sound but it's okay it uh, it it does click onto place but i rather pick up the bottle and open so open it solid plastic see through nothing fancy but uh, it works okay and the bottle looks like this up top a little bit of uh, plastic shiny but the sprayer is really really good okay so this fragrance let me show you the sprayer see okay you can see it shoots out enough juice so for me sprayer works that's very important so for presentation and bottle everything it's 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 all right it's not bad okay so now the most important thing let's get to the point how similar is it to Ralud? okay this is a very nice interpretation in terms of designer release and it does give me the feel of royal wood okay royal wood i'm not gonna put because this i, I saved this for special occasions only so the fragrance specialty on this is creed's royal wood is a bit mature fragrance it's not loved by all not every fragrance reviewer loved it not everybody said this is their cup of tea and i believe um someone I'm not quite sure which reviewer it was but he said i was not very big fan of this one i think it was a uh, one of my favorite reviewers okay so he said this is not on his, one of his favorite fragrances so even this one the clone some more he didn't like it at all for me Chris royal wood some people say it has a uh, performance issue well, none whatsoever i tried that full bottle with me from fahad bhai thanks to fahad bhai for this one and that one this has excellent performance longevity and projection okay for colder weather very nice very nice to wear even all year round 
So it's a very high quality juice, royal oud. And it has like a spicy feel, very minimalist oud, very wearable oud in this, okay? Or no oud whatsoever, very spicy, manly fragrance. So compared to that, the Lomani one, what you get from it is the opening, is the magic. It gives you that beautiful dry down. You're not going to get that beautiful opening of Creed in this. This is going to give you the dry down of whatever you get from Creed's Royal Oud. You're going to get it on the opening of Lomani. And this, let's talk about the performance first of all. It's true. It doesn't have beast mode performance. After two hours, two to half hours afterwards, you really have to dig your nose into your skin to get a whiff of it. I tried it on my shirt. Um, I went crazy. I went like 10, 12 sprays one day. It lasted me like three and a half hours with that kind of sprays. But uh, this is not like a beast mode scent. That's what I'm trying to say. So performance is five out of 10. Projection for the first 30 minutes, it will project nicely. Soft, it's not nose burning. It doesn't have synthetic. Those are the good things. It smells really natural. It smells high quality juice. For the price what you pay, you get a feel of Royal Oud. That is the best part of this fragrance, okay? And I really see, it's really, 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 it's a very pleasant scent. So it's, in terms of smell, I would say almost 85% similar to Royal Oud by Creed. So downsides of it, downside of it, definitely, you know, performance, it's gonna lack because it's not a very strong performer. So in this price range, I also have Club Dino Intense Man, which is a little bit more pricey now, but in this price range, you get like a um, bit more performers in many clones, which you don't get from it. So why would you buy it? Or should you buy it at all? I think if you get it for $22, compared to Creed's Royal Oud, which is in Bangladesh is the cheapest I saw so far, is 18,000 taka. That is $180, more or less, give or take, versus $22. You can literally buy 10 bottles of this, and you know, in like uh, at least not 10, maybe nine bottles of this for the price of one Royal Oud. So you can definitely, you can shower in it all day, and you can literally like save your bucks like buying this fragrance. So you have to be practical. You have to know what you're getting for what you're paying. If you ask me which one I'm gonna pick, since I have a sample of Royal Oud, and I must tell you, you know, not all the expensive fragrances are worth it because the price tag is so high. This one I'm gonna say, it's worth buying Royal Oud, even if it's $200. I know in the world market it goes for $350 and above, that is too much. In Bangladesh, if you find $180, you should buy it. Because the feel you get from this fragrance, you cannot, it's the quality in this, it's just so good. I sometimes think this is, I love this over Aventus, sometimes, okay? So the creeds, they do, you know, magical stuff, but uh, not all creeds, okay? I'm not gonna suggest like Silver Mountain Water is gonna be safer than uh, Enteba maybe. I would say for mass crowd, I would say go for Enteba. But this, among these two, if you can afford, go for Elud. But if you cannot afford, but you wanna get a feel of this, you cannot go wrong with this. This is not a bad fragrance. It's just you have to carry a decant with you all day like this. And you have to refresh every two hours. You'll be good to go. Like three refreshments, three refreshing sprayers <laughs> in the work. It will be perfect. I think you can even get compliments from this because this fragrance smells like, you know, it's going to be like a good compliment getter because very handsome smell, very clean and a little bit spicy. It, uh, it's, it has a tad bit of sweetness. It has... Uh, on the dry down, it smells a little bit flat, okay? It smells like, a, I don't know, it's, you know, the hay sticks, you know, if you dry the hay stick in the village in the winter time, if you put your nose to it, it has a little bit earthiness to it. But I really like Lomani Black Intense, this fragrance, but uh, it's, it'll be good for casual usage a lot. You can use it everywhere, very versatile, all year round. It's not very choking, doesn't have so much pepper, makes it very all year round scent. So for conclusion, the wearability of this, I think it will be a little bit mature crowd. Not everybody will like this because it has a bit set, like mature touch to it. So maybe uh, 25 and up, maybe 20 and up, okay? Occasion to wear this work, casual, day to day uh, basis, at home, uh, if you're just chilling, you know, just a uh, guest coming or you just casual Fridays, you can throw some of it on. It's very nice for that. If you're, let's say, going for prayers, you can put this on. Very nice little fragrance. You can find Lomani brand in Bangladesh, I believe, uh, Boshundara City, down uh, downstairs. The Mustafa Mart, they have a mall, they have few Lomanis. Also, I believe uh, one of my brothers said, Charan, Brother Charan, he said uh, you can find this brand in Unimart, Gulshan. So give it a try if you can secure a bottle. I haven't seen this in Bangladesh. Uh, but would I recommend this? Um, depends, okay? If you're on a budget, you can definitely go for it if you like Royal Oud. But... 
if you're looking for just a fragrance in general within this budget, there are much better alternatives in terms of performance. Versatility, uh, all year round you can wear this, no problem, but in winter time, it's not gonna last. Um, longevity and projection, 5.5. Five. Smell, I'll give this like a, compared to Royal Wood, 7, but overall for this, I'll give this like 7.5. Nice, handsome smell. And overall for this fragrance, I'm gonna give this 6 out of 10. Just solely for that smell, good sprayer and nice looking bottle. So that's my take on Lomani Black Intense. Do let me know if you ever tried it, if you like Royal Wood, if you do not like either of these, no problem whatsoever. Take care guys, I'm just gonna go for a morning walk and my scent of the morning is gonna be Essenza from the house of Equa di Gio and uh, not Equa di Gio, from the house of George Armani, what am I saying? Uh, the Essenza line, uh, this, is the, this is my favorite of the whole bunch because this really lasts, all right? So take care guys, I'll talk to you soon. Have a nice day, bye-bye.